Hello and welcome to this short video where I'll be showing you how you can create custom icons for your ThingLinks. Of course ThingLink provides you with hundreds of icons in your tag editor but sometimes it's nice to think about creating your own. Custom icons can be beautiful and in context with the topic of your ThingLink and also they can help your viewers to differentiate important types of information. You can go online and find websites that offer both paid and free icons, which you can download and upload into your ThingLink account. But I'm going to show you how I can use something called Google Drawings and I can easily create my own. The recommended size is 64 times 64 pixels. To change this, you simply go to File and Page Setup and you can choose the size of your drawing. Of course, you only have to do this once because once you've created it, you could use this as a template and copy a version for each of your icons. The maximum file upload size is also 64 kilobytes. I've been online and I found a search engine where I can search for museum icons and you can use the setting to ensure that you're not using an image which has copyright regulations which mean you shouldn't use it. Back on my icon I can click on insert image and upload from my computer. I can add the image, I can resize and once I'm happy with it, I can click File, Download, and I can choose Scalable Vector Graphics or SVG. This is really important because the ThingLink editor will only allow you to upload SVG files as custom icons. Back in my ThingLink, I'm going to choose to edit my ThingLink and I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to add a simple text label and add a little bit of information. I can now change my icon. Scrolling to the bottom, you'll see you have an upload icon link. Here you can choose the icon that you've just downloaded, your SVG file. Choose the icon and click done and done again. And there we have it. You have your custom icon embedded into your thing link for your tags and that custom icon will be added to your account. So it will be available to you in any other thing links that you create. We hope that this has been helpful. As always, please don't hesitate to contact us if you'd like any further information.